Hello there, and welcome to this, the 21st episode of my quest to play Norway perfectly. That is, to play maps of every single one of Norway's 356 communes on GeoGuessr to a score of 25,000 each. Today we have made it to Nordre Follo commune. So that is Northern Follow, which is basically a big suburb of Oslo, our capital in Norway. It's not a large commune in terms of size, but it is a large commune in terms of population, at least for Norway, centered around the, um, the uh, town of Ski, as well as the area between Kolbotten and Langhus, where most of the people live and some rural areas on the on the east side east south side and slightly to the west but i think we will have mainly have a urban playthrough this time around which would be nice because we haven't had too many of that so before we start let's have a look at some facts about nordre follow commune <laughs> a surprise. Right away we're out on a rural road. So where could this be then? Well, maybe we are around here somewhere or around Skrokstad. We'll just have to see. I guess if we go north, northwest we have more chance of coming to somewhere populated. And it's in the middle of winter. Oh, and then we went from winter. From winter. Oh! Have a look at this. Sigurd. So Sigurd is up here. Okay, so we have a couple of roads coming into this place. I would think. Let's see. This road bends quite a lot, so I'm wondering if we are on this bit of road. I think we'll just have to go with that. Oh no, and we messed up right on the start. Except for that first one, that was a miss, and this one was all right. Okay, well, I guess we have to try and play that again. 
here we go. That was slightly annoying, but okay. <laughs> and we get to start like this again. And where on earth are we now? So come around to gravel road across that bridge. And there's a sledge dog club up ahead. And we're heading into what is called Matka, that is. Uh, sort of the recreational areas around Oslo. Let's see. Uh, okay, here we are in the box. So that is in the next door commune. Could be somewhere up here. But we need to figure out where the heck this is. started this round with a miss as well. Oh man, heartbreak. Yet again, we're foiled on the first attempt. Well, there's nothing for it. We have to try another playthrough. Okay, attempt number three at Noite de Follow. I'm amazed how hard this was suddenly. And once again, we find ourselves out in the wilds on the first try. Mmm, this should be, I think, a little more doable. And the road is called Kongyave and the King's Road. Oh wow. Okay, so the King's Road and this road has a number. It's the number 131. There's a kilometer away from some intersection over here. Oh, what did it say on that one? There was a... Okay, so we're coming into Sofiamir. I'm heading into Sofiamir from the south. Yeah, so this is Kongavayan. Right. Could we have been on... No, never. No, we were here, weren't we? No. Yes. Because there's the bridge, that's that one. Yes, and then there's the intersection here. So it was somewhere here. Hmm, okay. And I know I keep complaining about things not being easy, but this definitely isn't. Hmm. Okay, so the road has started to bend. So we've got that, which is this bit, we've got a little straight bit, and then we come into a slight curve. I need something more. I guess we'll have to try to find out where that curve starts. Because this will actually... So there's a slight straight bit of road here. And then this whole thing... Well, it's not that far to that curve, and it's not far to that curve either. 
That curve starts there. And that curve starts about there ish, doesn't it? Yes. So let's see if we can count our way to where the curves start. We're kind of midway, aren't we? One, two, three, four, three, two, I'd say. And then to the start of that curve, one, two, three, four, definitely two. We're sort of midway between one of these two curves. So, mm. that curve starts there. That curve starts there. Midway between is there. Not sure how happy I am with that. There's not much more to go by, is there? Two meters away, sweet. Oh, this looks familiar. Hello. <laughs> we were here on the first playthrough at the Burnamid. And that was, uh, now it was that other one again. It was, um... Ah, where was it again? Oh, gods, I can't remember where it was now. But it was somewhere... Yes, it's up here. Let's see, if you're in the middle, and there we are, and it was on the middle of that building there. Okay, so we are like roughly there. Which side of the road are we on? Well, it doesn't really matter, but we are on the far side of the road. One meter away, good. Road close, 200 meters ahead. This also looks familiar. It kind of looks like this site we were on earlier. What is the name of this road? Siluvein. Okay, that did not sound familiar. But that's the road crossing this one. So what's the name of this road then? Can we find out? An intersection of some sort. Hmm. And then it turns summer. It's a long sort of slightly winding northwards road. No, this is not the way to go. Let's head over there. Looks like there might be a main road intersecting. Here, so this is Östlivejen and Siljuvejen. So the East Hill Road and Siljuvejen. That looks to be yeah, going into more road construction work. Let's uh, head down this road. Greverudvejen. The Count's Yard Road. And here we have an intersection with the road I think we were on. Friedenbergwein. <laughs> Pleasant Hill Road. Greverudvein. Is that? That looks like either an underpass of a railway or. Yeah, this is a railway. Good. What's the name of the station then? So trains towards Oslo, trains towards Xi. Okay, so but so we're somewhere between Xi and Oslo. So we're somewhere. Long, well, actually, we can even just use the railroad line. Could be here, for instance. Let's see. We are on the east side, so it's not this stop. And uh, it's not this stop either, is it? No. Are there any more stops before we cross the border into Oslo? This is one, but uh, no. Get it. Get it. Here we are. Silvian. Right. Silvian. I think we started out there. Yes, yeah, so we're smack in the middle of the crossroads. 
that house to the west. Yeah. I mean, that's about as easy as it gets, isn't it? Yep. And, oh no! <laughs> oh wow! This won't be easy. There's absolutely no features to go by. It's such a long straight road. Oh my goodness me. I think I'm looking at the fourth playthrough here. But let's give it our best. This is called Asperudvegen. Okay, and the road of the Aspens. Was there, was there any sort of sign here? So, Asperud. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Now, where on earth are we? Heading northwest. Okay, some sort of road sign coming up. Telling us that. Kroer and Neshagen. Now, where on earth is that? I have no idea where I am right now. So. Well, the search goes on. Um, this is called Neeswegen, Promontory Road. There's a river going underneath here. And here we have road going off to Krokstad, so we're somewhere over here. There's Neeswegen. Is this the E18? It is. Wow. Okay, so we're either somewhere there or somewhere here. And at least one that should give us something to count for, to and from. That's a road going after this E. Uh, is this there? No, that's just a lay by, isn't it? But this has to be that bend. I can't see unless... no. So that should be on this lay-by here. But I can't see it. Hmm. Unless it's this. It can't be that. <laughs> oh. Well, this is awkward. So we're somewhere between there and probably there. Let's see if we can spot that road. To help us do some counting, which is this road. Yep. Right. Hmm. Wait, there's a house up there. Where is that? Can't see it. Must be up around there somewhere then. I can't spot it, but I will have. I guess I will have to go between that. And that, and that's going to be a lot of counting. Oh well, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, okay. And the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, hang on, that was a little miss. Try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. 
let's call it 26 so 26 and 16 between there and there okay 26 and 16 is 42 and now I just need to align these so that we can find the halfway point between the two the halfway point would be about there I would say so that would be 21 that would be 10 and a half there 15 and a quarter 16 would be around there this will be a pure guess well not a pure one it's a slightly informed one but could also go on the bend but I don't want to do that because the bend is so ambiguous here we are fairly close to the bend one two three four five ish six seven so five if we go for the bend just to look for some additional confirmation here so then starts about there there so 5 and 16 is 21 10 and a half that looks quite right let's try that come on come on come on come on nine meters away yes we are still on for a perfect playthrough come on what's the name of this road it is called west Inga, the west field and what is this uh, road why have you blacked out that why on earth okay well, let's go down to oh we're not going down there that way okay right just calm yourself down okay this is the end of the road that could be useful whoa and wham oh I think I lost my way a little bit there let's make sure we are on the right track also very abrupt change of seasons okay this road doesn't seem to want to, I want to have a name okay so it's all called Vestenga and there's this road let's head up the hill could this be Vajit Devayan so that's up there that's a can road and let's say grocery store here we go Valhalla Vein I've seen that an Augusta vein. I've seen that. Let's just see if we can. What on earth happened here? But yeah, I know I saw Valhalla vein. The road to Valhalla. <laughs> I know I saw that when we were looking around some areas. Was that up here? That's Sophia made. yes here's Valhalla vein and then we need to find Paragus way Tortoise way that's a long road Gimli vein here's Augusta vein and Varda vein Vestinger here we are and we're towards this must be that intersection that we were at so let's place that down there for now well not quite we're not that far down the road so let's see okay so if I'm on the intersection um, 
not sure here what I'm looking, looking northwards, of course. So, yeah, there's a bit of clear space here until we get to that house, which is this. Okay, and then there's that road, which would be that. So let's just look back to where we are. So we have that house, which must be this one, I assume. Yes. And then there's this house, which is sort of in the middle of the trees, which must, must be that one. And that must be the road that goes up here. Kind of a little bend to it, right? Sort of. Okay. Need to get this absolutely right. So there's a road, a tiny road going down here. So that house has an extension on it, which would be that house. And then there's a long building. Yes, which is this one, which would be that. Okay, so we are looking at this house. And that house is the last one before the, yeah, before the intersection. So we're looking slightly past the middle of that house. Okay, so let's see. I'd say about there. And we are on that side of the road. Two meters away. Finally, Noise the Follow was cracked. Those rural roads gave me a turn, but in the end, I made it. Finally. Okay, that was Noise the Follow. Please join me again for episode number 22 of my quest to play all of Norway's communes perfectly on GeoGuessr. Until then, bye bye.